Saludos familia, les habla Jesús, su administrador del grupo Todo Sobre Lucha Libre, y en la entrevista del día tenemos al luchador Tamilian Vinish. That's correct? Absolutely correct. Okay, how you doing? Fine? I'm good, good, good. I'm fine, fine, fine. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome, sir. Okay, tell me your history of why are you a wrestler? Well, a um, long time ago, you know, um, I'm, I'm from India. My family's from India. Um, like, we watch a sport called cricket, uh, okay. just like soccer in South America. Mm -hmm. Cricket mm -hmm. is a sport that is popular in India. So we were watching cricket on TV, and me and my brother, we were watching it. So, um, you know, w when it comes to, like, you know, big World Cups, or they, they have, like, a bit, uh, big advertisements, they play all these ads for five, ten minutes. So they were like, we were, like, you know, flipping the channels. So okay. um, as we changed the station, we got a chance to watch two brothers in this blue steel cage fighting. That was Brett the Hitman Hart. And Owen Hart. Owen Hart, yeah. Yeah, for some reason, I still remember <laughs> that match. So that got our attention. Me and my, that was kind of like I could connect it. Like, that's me and my brother. We always, like, fight, all, do all these things. So that's the first wrestling match. Got my attention, and and then I started watching it. Then I got into it. Shawn Michaels, Brett Tate, Man Hart. Those guys were my, my heroes, my idols. Of course, it was a blessing that I got an opportunity to meet both Brett as in person and Shawn Michaels twice. Yeah. So, where, where which is blessings. Them? Where did you meet them? So I met Brett Tate Man Hart uh, back in 2018. Um, so I drove from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to uh, Canada. Um, and I got a chance to meet him. I spoke to him uh, for almost like three hours and uh, took pictures and it was great blessings. Then I met Shawn Michaels first time earlier this year, February 22nd, when I got an opportunity to do a WWE tryout at the WWE Performance Center. After my match, Shawn came to me and said, I like your selling kid, great work. Oh and uh, second time I went back to uh, Performance Center a couple of weeks ago to do NXT uh, 2.0 extra work. So okay. Shawn Michaels called me and he thanked me. A legend, a Hall of Famer came to me and uh, he said, I uh, really appreciate you doing it. Thank you so much for coming and doing it. And I was like, you made my childhood awesome. You know, so uh, it's, 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 it's a blessing that I'm here talking to you. So this, these were like great, great uh, moments. So that's how I met uh, Shawn Michaels twice in uh, Bret Hart, at least once in my life. It was kind of like, I'm very blessed. The only one person he's left to meet is Hulk Hogan. Hope it will happen oh. someday. <laughs> yeah, we really hope so. Does Shawn Michaels doesn't super kick you? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, no, who trains you? <laughs> who trains you? I started my wrestling journey with Johnny Ross, the unpredictable uh, Johnny Rods in a uh, world of unpredictable wrestling in uh, Gleason's gym in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I started end of uh, 2013 and um, my journey started there. I learned my baby steps from Big Johnny and uh, then um, I went to New Jersey for a um, small time, a uh, small amount of time. Gino Caruso was there. He guided my little bit. And then, you know, I started traveling. Uh, I was blessed to um, travel to Pittsburgh, Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, West Virginia, and all these states. I started traveling, doing shows, and um, I got a chance to go to Japan. Uh, I got a chance to train in Wrestle One Dojo in Japan. Um, I did two tours in Japan. The second time I went there, I worked in a few promotions. I did a hardcore match. Then I got a chance to work in Ohio Valley Wrestling, learn something from there. And I got a chance to do a New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, dojo uh, training camp, um, okay. seminar and camp with Katsuyori Shibata-san, uh, Rocky Romero, Carl Federicks, those guys. And uh, yeah, it's all learning process, learning never ends right now. Um, going to the Nightmare Factory, 
Um, so I train there right now. Okay. And I'm still learning. Yeah, you learn each by day. Losing or, or winning a match, you always uh, learn uh, more each day. Yeah. Okay. So how, how many years have you been a wrestler so far? It's going to be my eighth year. Eighth year? Okay. I think that you are, are, are very uh, happy because it says here on your Facebook that you are the first Tamilian pro wrestler in the world. Yes. So you feel proud about that, correct? It's, it's it's a great feeling to represent uh, 100 million people around the world, yes. It's a representative of 100 million Tamilians around the world. Do you want to send an example so maybe more Tamilians can come and become the rest or two? Yeah, so talking about Tamilian, I got to take you to a language called Tamil. T-A-M-I-L, Tamil. Tamil okay. is one of the oldest spoken languages in this world. It's more than 5,000 years old. And okay. uh, it, 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 it used to be the oldest language in India um, because okay. the existence of uh, Tamil is there way before the language Sanskrit. So we, as in a Tamilian, people who can speak Tamil, they go by Tamilians, Tamilians. Okay, okay. So we, as in Tamilians, we represent one of the oldest culture, oldest civilizations in this world. And that's what I want to represent. It's like no one ever heard about Tamilian. Everybody heard about uh, Sikh, uh, you know, Punjabi guys. Uh, yeah. Come in. Um, I don't want to <laughs> specify names here, but people okay. who's listening or watching right now, they know who you're talking about. So they don't represent me. They don't represent my culture. They don't represent because when it comes to India, when it comes to me, um, people, they say, oh, you're from India. OK, Slumdog Millionaire, gas station, grocery store, restaurants. No, there's a big picture out there. India okay. is a big country. They have 30 states. And, um, you know, Punjabi is a language that's spoken in one. And we... In, in my culture, my people, Tamil is an international language which is spoken not only in the south part of India. Tamil is an official language of Singapore, Malaysia, and Sri Lanka. And of course, there are more around the world. But these are the official um, countries that they speak Tamil as an official language. So I wanted to tell my story for my people. So it's the greatest opportunity. So Tamil have a big and old culture so that's what i'm trying here so um i really hope this will open the door for so many tamilian wrestlers you know okay. so that they could come to america or anywhere in the world in in that case like canada australia, mm -hmm. australia mm -hmm. they can go and do it but it's 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 a great feeling that i'm opening a door and I'm creating a history because I'm the only, not only I'm the first ever Tamilian professional wrestler in the world who represent 100 million people. It's not only that, I'm the only Tamilian wrestler who appeared in the WWE and AEW in a straight one year. That's correct. Have you won any title championships so far? Yes, I was the MCIW uh, tag team champion with Bobo Brazil Juniors promotion in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I was the for, uh, I was the uh, internet champion in Extreme Valley Wrestling promotion, and also I was the world champion in Extreme Valley Wrestling. So I was kind of like, um, uh, you know, holding two titles at the same time in XVW Extreme Valley Wrestling. Okay, you're here, right? I swing both ways. <laughs> okay, because, sometimes you know, you're I a face. Really wrestling. I was a baby face. Okay. In some of the promotions in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, I was a baby face. But which one do you like to be a face or to be a heel? Absolutely, always heel. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's try to remember your debut. How was your emotions that first day? I. Uh, yeah. I wasn't nervous uh, because I knew this is the time. It was uh, it was a chilling goosebump moment because I knew this is my time and this is I'm gonna be a star. So I have to act like a star. I have to walk okay. like a star. So I wasn't nervous. I was walking really slowly towards the ring, looking at the people, 
I was soaking everything in and I was like, you know, I knew that this is this is an opportunity. This is the time. And I wasn't nervous at all for for my first match. It was completely good. Went so really that, well. that day you was a baby face. Uh, no, first day was heel. Okay, did you win I that was, match? I, I was nervous when I was a baby face in OVW. <laughs> did you win that first match? Of course not. Oh, okay, okay. I worked two no guys back to back. So the thing oh. was, um, first match, I, uh, I, um, I worked a guy. I beat him on the first match, and right after my first match, they announced in the second match. I was like dominating this young little skinny guy, so they okay. didn't like they sent another dude, and we had some brawl, and it happened so quick. He pinned me one, two, three. Okay, would you like to go to Mexico to learn some? Uh, ma uh, how they... See, that yeah, was my plan in 2020. I was thinking, uh, I was okay. trying to reach out to Conan so that I could okay. go to uh, Mexico, and uh, they have this AAA camp every year. I think it's a uh, two or three week camp. I wanted to go and learn. Uh, but unfortunately, whenever the pandemic hits, all mm -hmm. the borders has been closed. You know, it changed everything for everybody. Okay, let's talk about Puerto Rico because here in Ground Zero Wrestling, we saw a video and we saw something that said that Your Majesty El Profe. Mm -hmm. He calls an old friend called Leon Cornioli, mm -hmm. and he asked Leon to please send here to Puerto Rico somebody that he was a manager for Vega yeah. Alta this November 27. And there's no surprise that the one he chose is it is you. So you're coming to Puerto Rico to destroy somebody here. So far, we don't know who he's going to be, but you're going to be here on November 27th on ground, zero wrestling with your majesty and prophet. Do you feel prepared for that day? Yeah, yeah, because, see, uh, Puerto Rico, when it comes to uh, professional wrestling, just big as Mexico. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't know why people don't really see the big picture. For me, Puerto Rico is big as Mexico because uh, the Colognes, uh, Savio Vegas, All those wrestling, mm -hmm. all those wrestlers, all these years, wrestling always been huge in Puerto Rico, and it's 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 an honor for me to come into Puerto Rico and wrestle there. It's kind of like I'm going inside of Taj Mahal and wrestling in there, because yeah. that much of pride that I keep it. And for me, when I come there, um, a lot there's a lot of eyes in me there's a lot of expectations in me like so i have to keep my expectations i have to keep that hopes out there so whoever i work in the wrestling ring with i want to make sure number one that the fans they get every penny worth okay. that's no, that's my priority number one they just want to make sure okay you know we invested this much money in this guy well it's worth it I want them to feel that way. And number two, whoever I'm working with, I'm wrestling with, I want to put a tremendous fight. I just don't want to come to Puerto Rico and beat the crap out of somebody and raise my hands. No, I want to come there, wrestle, show the world what Tamilian Vinici is all about and what Tamilian Vinici can do it. Ooh. So Ground Zero Wrestling, I heard, <clears throat> excuse me, I heard, Nothing but good things about this new promotion. So I want them to go out there, give what people want. Uh, for example, when was the last time Puerto Rico ever seen an Indian wrestler? No, I don't think so. If they okay, uh, one time when the Sanjay Jinder Mahal was there, only only Jinder Mahal the, is the one who comes here one day, uh, a couple of years. Oof. Very, yeah, very years yeah. ago. Yeah, so many years ago. So, so this this is another history in the making, too, because mm -hmm. not only I'm the first Tamilian professional wrestler in the world, not only the first Tamilian wrestler in AEW and WWE, on top of all of these, that the first Tamilian wrestler ever going to wrestle in Puerto Rico. Mm, it's going to be very amazing to see you here. And, well, 
I don't know who is going to have a match with you, but I think he's going to be destroyed because you. I saw your videos, I saw your matches, and you always, always, always destroy your opponents. Yeah, muchas gracias, mi hermano. Thank you. Yes, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> that's what I'm coming for. Mm, uh, 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 I don't know, but Puerto Rico must be very prepared to receive a guy like him because, oh, well. Okay, next 2.0, they called you again? Or you are, you are expecting a call from them? Yeah, I'm expecting a call from them uh, because okay. Shawn Michaels said he was impressed with my work in there. So, um, which is a great, great, uh, you know, thing to say, um, especially I'm nobody in this business, but uh, it's it's awesome that it's coming from a Hall of Famer and legend. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I might get a call soon. If if he sees something on you, it is because he knows what he's looking at. Oh, so oh, so, man. Yeah, yeah. He's, and, he's, and, he's, and even Puerto Rico have a lot of great talents too, from Pedro Morales, yeah. Johnny Rods. Yeah. You know, this is I'm so I'm not underestimating anybody in there. I'm sure they're gonna bring their A game when it comes to professional wrestling. So yeah. yeah. I know that uh, wrestlers didn't choose uh, where they want to go, but. Between Raw and SmackDown, which brand do you like to go and why? Um, NXT, I would say. NXT? Only NXT? You don't want to be on Raw or SmackDown? Not really, yeah. because I'm a oh. huge fan of NXT. NXT oh. is kind of like that fresh blood feel. Yeah. <laughs> you see that new talents coming in, breaking, and the barriers, and they're just... It's a different vibe when it comes to NXT. There, are, people are hungry. They want to do something. And no, I'm not taking anything away from Raw or SmackDown. It's the same okay. guys been wrestling on TV forever. Um, I'm not saying I'm tired of AJ Styles or Dolph Ziggler's or Bobby Roode or Bobby Lesnar. No, it's all there. It's, for an entertainment perspective, those are good. But I'm a fighter. I love to fight. I like to see matches. I like to see that competitor, uh, competitorship. Okay. That, that, you know, I need to see that competition. So in NXT, every match is intense from the beginning to the end, from the first to the last. So that's why I always prefer NXT over uh, Raw or SmackDown or with any other uh, wrestling promotions in that case. That includes okay. Elite Wrestling. Do you see yourself being the champion of Next 2.0? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just like they say, never say never. I hope it happens someday. So hey, you man, at this point of time, then I'll be honest with you. Like at this point of time, I don't know okay. what's going to be my future when it comes to uh, professional wrestling. Whatever it is, I'm proud of myself, and I'm 100% happy. Uh, and I kind of feel like you know my life is already completed. The the day I stepped inside of that performance center, for me, I achieved my dream. A guy like me, I never thought that I will step in the performance center, which I did. For me, my dream came true right there. Okay. So are you going to be with a manager or not? Leon Corleone? Yeah. In the, in the next? Yeah? Uh, or next in, 2.0, are you going to be with a manager there? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Uh -huh. You know, they don't really talk about the plans so last time when it was nxt we did a small segment where um zeon uh he was like you know opening a door for two girls and i come in and i stop and he you know uh, he stopped he pulled me in he asked me like what's going on and i tell him hey uh sherry's dead pal and he just like hold me back and he let those girls go in then he uh <laughs> closed the door he just slammed <laughs> my head so um there's nothing big it's small but it's, it's powerful effective yeah. yeah, but but uh, it seems that they don't, they don't want to stereotype you because uh, if they let let you talk in English, they don't want you to be like this Indian guy. So so it's it, it's surprising to to see that. Yeah, you know what? That's the thing there, man. Like whenever I go to um, I I've been to WWE Performance Center twice in my life, and yeah. I didn't feel like I was an outsider. I felt I felt like I'm a I'm I'm I belong there like a family everybody's so nice and so awesome okay they treated me with respect and they're like i said it's just it's um 
it's kind of feel like you know i'm going back to my family that's how i felt everybody's so Everybody's nice so even nice. though i get emotional when i say this because i've seen a lot of shenanigans and a lot of bull crap in this business my experience wwe is a place man the locker room is great people are very kind and very very generous they're they're one of the nicest people i ever met in my life oh my god well the sky is the limit you never yeah. know what's going to happen to you maybe yeah. someday i will see you there in the middle of the ring with a uh, title championship and i say oh there is a million there you see it he made it yeah <laughs> you never so, know yeah it's all mm -hmm. blessings blessings imagine show michael's uh in the middle of the ring with a microphone <laughs> saying he's my pupil tamia finish do you imagine <laughs> that just to see him as in person like i said i'm blessed <laughs> okay <laughs> so i really hope that you can get the best of the best because uh, wrestlers deserve it you know the wrestler always want to be on top of the mountain they always want to to be and you're going to be an inspiration for other people who want to become wrestlers too like you said you are the first and we really hope so that you're not going to be the last one oh so too so too brother okay do you think they're a good prospect where do you live to become live wrestler? What? Do you think you can see some good Tamilian prospect to be on the wrestling company? Hope so too. Um, okay. Are you talking about WWE, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. They have hired some. Uh, that's this is what I heard. They have hired some uh, South Indian um, wrestlers, uh, female wrestlers. That's what I heard. Uh, I haven't met them, but it'll be uh, it'll be different. That's for sure okay so maybe they will see you face to face and say hey here i am and you say hey here i am too <laughs> yeah right yeah <laughs> super duper so it's the WWE, fans, man you know you, you know never know. see everything everybody um there's one thing about uh wwe performance center is when i was there i met all kind of nationalities from all over the world only yeah. in the wwe okay so so far you have the t-shirt <laughs> I'm proud to wear I'm, 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 this is a pride this is like I'm so proud to wear this um, you know some people like they call me Mark or such a fan as a little B I am I grew up watching WWE if I want to be a wrestler if I want to become a wrestler that's because of WWE oh my god I, yeah for, you know it, WWE is the main door for so many of us People, well, just because of the companies that are out there, people don't want to say it before me. And people don't know how big WWE really is. WWE is one of the biggest wrestling company in the world. That's correct. They podcast, uh, they, they broadcast in um, all over the world. They broadcast like more than 300, 500 countries around the world. Oh, okay. Um, let me see something here. Okay, you're gonna be on November six. You're gonna have some uh, signing on a company. Uh, can you give a promo for that? So that's All Star Wrestling in uh, Grable, Georgia. So that's a match that they just announced on November six. Um, I don't even know who my opponent really is. So they just announced that. So uh, that's all I know so far. Um, so I'm making my debut in All Star, and uh, they have some bigger stars out there too. Um, um, some of the international stars wrestled there before, so um, it's going to be another honor and opportunity for them to have me. <laughs> um, I mean, it's the other way around. So yeah, that's me right there, right? <laughs> yeah. So. Um, yeah, that, that so it's it's more of kind of like a signing. It's kind of like a um, a fight that I will be uh, in um, All Star Wrestling. Okay, I'm gonna make you a question. If you want to answer it, you can answer it. Which one do you prefer? Maybe WWE or AEW? No, without any uh, confusion, without any doubt, WWE, 100 percent sure. Okay, because you you have been in both. So, and asking you, which one would you prefer? WWE. 
Okay, okay. I hope so they don't use you like a security officer with a storyline. <laughs> every time we see a wrestler on the training, they put them like a police officers or security or, or receiving all this damage like, oh, you know, we are here. Oh, punch, kick, here, there. And then fans say, wait a minute, that's, that's a wrestler. That's not a cop. That's not a security guard. See, that, that's an also another experience, right? Like, you know, where you can play a role. I mean, it's get it, it's really hard to get an opportunity to act in a movie, like in a Hollywood. So in okay. WWE, is giving you an opportunity to become a cop or a security guard or a doctor or maybe a yeah. physician in the back. It's just, 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 you know, make an advantage if you use it. Because that's also an, um, a positive aspect. Um, so down the road, if you want to look for a job in acting, Hey, you can use that clip right there. That's me. Okay. So what what happened in here? Yeah, that was the thing that I was talking about. Okay, okay. Yeah, he was he opened the door and I tried to get in, sneak in. He pulled me back and he said, "Hey, show some respect to the girls." And um I was like, "Sherry's dead, pal." And he just like threw me to the door and he just walked inside. But I'll get oh. my revenge someday, that's for sure. Sion, I'm coming for you. I really hope so, yeah. Okay, the fans who want to reach you on the social media, how can they do it? See, I don't want to sound like corny here. This is honest to God truth. When you go to Google, just okay. type Tomillion Venice. Mm. I'm, the, I'm the only one in the world. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I know, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to sound like corny. That's what I'm saying. Just no, no, that's no problem. That's no problem. I, I want you to try. You can try too. Just go to Google, type Tamilian Venice. I'm the only one. T A M I L I A N, then Venice V I N E E S H. Okay. You can uh, get you, you you'll get access to Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitch, whatever, all the social media. Okay. Mi gente, Tamilian Benish, escríbale para más entrevistas. Si usted quiere que vaya a su país, escríbale, hablan de negocio. If some people want to do more interviews to you, if they want to see you in their country, just write him, talk about business. That's the more important thing, business. And then he will go and have a match anywhere that you want him. Do you have any more words before we finish the interview? Um, all I say, like, you know, um, um, I'm happy to be here on your podcast. And also, I feel like I'm blessed uh, that I'm getting an opportunity to come to Puerto Rico and perform in front of one of the loyal, uh, great fans of Puerto Rico. So I want to give my best to them. I want to give them a, a good experience. So um, I'm looking forward into it. Are you a little bit nervous for coming here to Puerto Rico? Excited. That's the right word. Okay, okay. That, that's what I'm seeing in you. I'm saying, yeah. okay, he's cider or nervous. It's something <laughs> no, like. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Miente, esta ha sido toda la entrevista del día. Pendiente nueva entrevista. Thank you very much, sir. I wish you the best of the best. The sky is the limit. Hope to see you more on X 2.0. Hope to have your revenge against this guy. And I wish you the best. I wish you the best. I, I know that you're going to come to Puerto Rico and you're going to destroy everybody who's standing on your way. <laughs> I wish you the best of the best for you. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.